Hi, Izu, congratulations on your Emmy win. Uh, thank you. I just want to read you your Instagram bio. Growing up, I never thought there was a seat for me, so I've decided to build my own table. Come pull up a chair. Now that you've won this Emmy, how do you read this bio? Mm, that I'd like to add more chairs for others to come sit. Um, well, I, you know, come and pull up a chair. I hope there are more people that are um, seated here. Um, I, I, I think that um, a continuation, I guess, would be another thing of doing and creating work that being being adventurous and daring enough to explore work that I thought was not possible for me. Expanding beyond um, beyond definition and exploring every possibility. Thank you very much. And thank you, Kate. Thank you. We've got Allie from E up next, and we've got Lauren from Entertainment Tonight on deck. So go ahead, Allie. Hi, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, we um, in your speech, you were excited to tell your mom that you won. How did she react? How will you celebrate tonight? She was excited. Um, she was earlier tonight, like not fully grasping. She was like, what do you mean the Emmys are going to be in the house? Are people coming here? And I was like, no one's coming here. We're doing like, imagine a really big Zoom FaceTime. Um, so she was downstairs and so excited, so proud when I told her, you know, I was like, this is for the part that I did um, for Shirley Chisholm. And she's a huge, huge Shirley Chisholm fan. So that was just icing to an already well-frosted cake. And it just made me beyond happy. Um, we high-fived, we hugged. Um, it was, I, I, the best, best feeling, the best feeling. Thank you, Ellie. Next up, we've got Lauren from ET. And after that, we've got Jim from Inside Edition. Lauren, you're up. Hi, Uzo. So many congratulations. Um, wanted to tell you, Regina King was just in here and she said you were part of the reason she wore that Brianna Taylor t-shirt tonight. So wanted to get your reaction on that. I am, I am amazingly touched to hear that. I am, Regina is who she says she is, um, which I, is my favorite thing about her. And she is a doer. And um, I loved when I saw her shirt and standing in it with such strength and power that we all know that she has. Uh, she's a born leader. And um, it made me so happy to see her wear it and um, to know that we are, we are saying her name. Great, thank you so much. Um, next up, we've got Jim from Inside Edition and on deck, we've got Tanya from American Urban Radio. Go ahead, Jim. Jim, can you hear us? Okay, we'll can you hear me? I'm sorry. Oh, great. We can hear you, Jim. You yeah, got me? Hi. This is Jim. Hi. Uzo, congratulations uh, on, this, on this victory. It's well-deserved. Uh, you must be so proud. Talk about uh, lending your name to a, to a cause that's bigger than yourself. You're wearing this shirt, obviously, to remind people of social injustice. And why is it important for you to use your voice for this platform for change? It's important to me because, you know, I think it's a wonderful evening that we're having and it should be filled with joy and celebration. But I think um, I would be remiss to not bring in some of what is happening outside in the streets and the experiences that are true for so many who look like myself. Um, and the truth of the matter is I had the unique opportunity to play a woman 
who made it her life's work to speak, represent, and hold space for those people who are often forgotten and left behind or out of the conversation. And it became very important for me to not close the space on those who are often left behind or forgotten. Thank you, Jim. Next up, we've got Tanya from American Urban Radio. On deck, we've got Jen from Extra, and Jen will be the final question. And you're up, Tanya. Hi, can you hear me there? Who's in? Yes, I can, Tanya. Oh, congratulations. First of all, I just love the fact that you have not skipped a beat, you know, after Orange is the New Black, which is when you first kind of came to all of us, and you just keep on moving, and you've done fabulous things, and now to continue to teach the world about Black history. Uh, Shirley Chisholm, if you had an opportunity, which you do right now, we know she's been gone for a while, what would you say to her right now about the time that we are in and how she has helped us move forward. What would you say to her? If I could say something to Shirley Chisholm, it would be thank you for doing the hard thing. I would say thank you. Thank you for making it okay to be oneself. You know, she in a time when for women, for black women or women of color who were supposed to occupy a very narrow amount of space, she was not afraid to dare and live up to the fullness of her potential. And whether we knew it or not, her doing that carved out room that we all were desperate, have been desperate for. And so I would thank her for doing the very hard thing. It's very hard to be the first and it's even harder to be the only um, over time. And that she was willing to do that, make that her life's work. A part of her life's work is something I think all of us um, can be forever grateful for. Thank you, Tanya. Next up, we've got Jen from Extra with a final question. Thank you. Oh, congratulations on your win. I wanted to ask you, because you are so outspoken about societal issues, particularly as they affect women, I'm wondering what your reaction was to the passing of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Oh, devastating. I mean, Absolutely devastating, she, you know, in line with the last question from Tanya, it's uh, someone you want to say thank you to, you know, um, this is a woman who you have to, you know, it's important to put into context the time in which these women are existing. You know, we're looking at revolutionary acts today in 2020 that surround women, that surround women of color, and we're all mind blown when we see these first. And when you think of a woman who was born in the 1930s, who was part of the Harvard Law Review, went to graduated Cornell, graduated first in her class in Columbia Law School, worked for the ACLU, made advancement for women, whether it's with their reproductive rights or whether that's with pay or whether, you know, and the list goes on and on, uh, serving as the second woman in the Supreme Court. Um, these are remarkable historical events that change and shape the way, the pathways for every single person who comes after them. So regardless of your political view on how she interprets the law, this is a woman who shaped culture and, and history for women. And she will be forever missed. Those are some mighty shoulders that she had. Um, and that she carried a lot on. And uh, we thank her for carrying that weight for us. I thank her. Great. Thank you so much, Jen. And thank you, Uzo, for being here with us and spending a little bit of your Emmy night with us. Congratulations. And of we'll course. send you off to your next stop now. Thank you. <laughs>